Bill Slugfest XFC 23. Hello everybody, I'm Michael Chevello. Fantastic to be here in Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm joined as always by my verbal sparring partner, former UFC champion Pat Militic. Pat, take us through the official rules here in Louisville. The uh, Kentucky Boxing and Wrestling Authority will be overseeing the XFC. Unified rules are in place. Elbows to a downed opponent are legal. The 10-point must score system and all fights are three five-minute rounds. XFC 23 Louisville Slugfest will be right back. Please welcome to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, Brianna the Bull Van Buren. Only 19 years old. From Gilroy, California, the garlic capital of the world, Brianna Van Buren the Bull, a nickname given to her by her grandfather when she was just a kid. A blue belt in BJJ, she trains under Anthony Antog Figueroa at Antog's MMA. Also spent some time training in Las Vegas with Kim Couture. It's also trained in California with Cyborg, Christine Santos. Holds a red belt in San Shu. In her pro debut and a first round knockout of Charlene Galina in October. Knocked her out with a beautiful combination. It was a front kick to the face, followed by a knee to the face. Van Buren gives up eight inches in height to egging here tonight, Pat play super coach how does she overcome it well she's gonna have to use her kicks hopefully to keep egging off balance when egging likes to use that jab she needs to chop that lead leg or, or lead leg front kick or rib cage when she throws her jab because she'll expose it get inside use her sand chow throws try and get this fight to the ground and go for a finish expect the unexpected from van buren she may just surprises and throw some jumping lead hooks and jumping roundhouse kicks she says, and this was interesting, she plans to make Stephanie Eggings boxing her strength. Meaning she's gonna throw a lot of fakes, keep Egging guessing, explode in, land, and then get out of range. Yeah, easier said than done. I'd say get in and stay in. And now welcome her opponent to the cage, fighting out of the red corner, Stephanie Snowflake Egging. The Snowflake Stephanie Egging, a succulent boxer, makes her way to the cage. And earlier on tonight, backstage, she caught up with Pat Militich. 
All right, I'm here with Stephanie Egan before her fight tonight. Now, in your last fight you had, you basically stood up the whole time and showed, showed the world that you're a great boxer, which everybody knew that coming into the fight. Is there any chance we're going to see some good grappling out of you tonight? Um, yeah, probably, because I have a feeling she's probably going to want to take it to the ground. Um, you can tell I'm a lot taller than her, so if she tries to box me, it will be very stupid of her. So if she goes to the ground, I'm sure there's going to be a great grapple competition, but uh, I'll come out on top there too. So. Okay, good. Now, obviously, with your boxing background, pretty extensive. Your transition to MMA, how do you feel about the difference between the two sports, and which one do you enjoy more? Um, I love MMA more for the diversity of the sport, you know, uh, you can train something new every single day, um, but I love classic boxing, I love clean boxing, you know, good footwork and everything, you don't see that a lot in MMA, you're seeing a little bit more in the female world, um, yeah. it's definitely developing, but um, I don't know, I don't know which one I like more, boxing's my roots, so maybe I'll end up back there someday. The Sweet Science, Stephanie Egan. The tail of the tape for this matchup, and look at the difference there. You go straight to that reach in both the arms and the legs. You go straight to that height differential. Six inch reach in the arms going the way of egging some five and a half inches in the legs. XFC 23 Louisville Slugfest will be right back. Welcome back to Louisville, Kentucky Extreme Fighting Championship number 23 is alive and happening. It is Underwood versus Davison Rivero, Michael Chavello, Pat Militich with you. Outside leg kick from Van Buren. This girl may surprise us, buddy. She is tenacious. Take down. Handle Egan Gurley goes inside the guard. Now Egan, no slouch on the floor. She is a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. High guard here from Egan. See if she can get an armbar on those short arms of Van Buren, though. Trying to stuff it for a triangle. You can see her working on it. There, she's trying to push that arm through. Egging a former member of the U.S. national boxing team. Working a guard game quite nicely at the moment. Not allowing any posture up here from Van Buren. Tying up the hands, pulling down on the back of the head. Continually working that guard higher and higher to see if she can catch her in something, Pat. Yeah, she's got a left leg on the, what, the, what we call the ledge of the shoulder. Now pulling that across. You do not want their legs up there that high. They can get an angle easily, go to an arm bar, triangle chokes. A lot of things can happen from there. In her corner in Victor Bantamweight, Shayna Baszler, giving instructions to Stephanie Egging. Van Buren trying to dig back in. She does not want to lift her head here and let her pass the leg. 
Apparently, we have a bet between Baszler and Egging tonight. If Egging gets a Cobra twist, Baszler owes her $500. Looks like it's going to be an armbar instead, however. Oh, look at the power from the ball! Slams her way out! How do you do it? Van Buren. She's got to keep that foot in there. Can't let that right foot get out of there. That triangle will get started if she does. She's smart. Trying to shut it down. Brianna Van Buren looking composed here in the first round. Strong little lady. Actually replaced Angela Magana when Magana was involved in a rollover car accident. We wish Magana all the very best. Feet on hips here from Egink. Trying to get the right hand free is Van Buren. Egging so far being smart, staying out of those submissions. Gonna push on that knee and pass that guard. Not able to do it yet. There she's starting to. Toe catching on the shorts. And Buren back to her feet. Up kicks here from Egging. Egging getting her legs slung. That's good work from Van Buren. Sanchow again coming through. She's got good kicks. Egging looking for a way back to her feet. So she can work the boxing prowess. Now gets the chance. Van Buren pressuring her against the cage, just barreling in. And this is what Egging expected from Van Buren. She says, I know she's going to try and bulldog me. Going to be very rough and rumble. Egging throwing that leg up across her back. Was trying to stuff the wrist, maybe go to a flying triangle. Now Van Buren got wrist control, smart on her part. Egging, who represented the U.S. in boxing at the 2007 Pan Am Games in Brazil. Looking for that guillotine, trying to reach up over the head. Hooks the left leg of Van Buren. Van Buren's strength for a little lady. Yeah. Hooks the leg again here. Elbow to the thigh from Van Buren. Season opening goes for it. I like the work. Staying busy here. She's, trying to, she's looking for that choke, I'm telling you. Want to throw that left leg up. Shana Baszler with the instructions. Here it comes. She's trapping that arm so she can slip that left leg up and over. Under a minute remaining here in the first round. Van Buren needs to lock her hands here. She had it for a second. The bull, Brianna Van Buren, keeping egging against the cage here. And referee Gary Copeland separates both ladies. We're back to center cage. A chance of the jabs here of egging. Jabs who it is. Straight across the cage. Van Buren ties her up. Pushes her against the fence. Got going a little too far forward that time. Committed too much on her ponchos, and Van Buren able to cover the gap again. I'm hooking the right arm of Van Buren. Throws a knee, does Van Buren. Nice to no avail. Yep, tried to snap the head down, and then <laughs> Egan lifted her head and landed the knee. Nice. End of the first round. Egan goes to her corner. Of a nice lady, Stephanie Egging, an avid hunter as well. She says she hunts anything, lives in South Dakota, hunts a lot of squirrels in her backyard. She's a big weapons enthusiast. She's actually trained in knife fighting for three years. Her and Shana Baszler just built an AR-15. They own four nine millimeters, a Glock, a shotgun, and her favorite knife, the K-Bar. Not really a house you want to break into. No. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more Extreme Fighting Championship action.
Okay, Pat, play super coach to Stephanie Egging for this second round. Obviously, use her reach, use the jab a lot. Don't overcommit on the cross and let her cover the gap. Round two, you ready, blue? Round two, you ready, red? Let's fight. The ball. Taking the first on Pat's scorecard. Egging Frankie off the back leg. Good outside leg kick from Van Buren. She's found her quite a few times in the opening round, and she opened up the first with it, opens the second with it. That's a good job getting out of the way of those punches. Moving on the back foot there, egging, but not throwing the jab while backing up, allows Van Buren to come on the inside, crack a knee to the top of the right thigh. Egging momentarily put a knee guard on as she has that left arm over hook. There's the knees again off the left leg from Brianna Van Buren. Egging tries to turn her. <laughs> Van Buren Tough little that. girl. Yeah. Only a teenager. Van Buren's been fighting very smart this whole fight, covering the gap, getting in tight. Negating that reach of Egg Inc. Making a wrestle with her. A real tussle here. High knee from Egg Inc. Van Buren got to get that underhook back. That's what's beating her right now. Can't reach up and grab the head like that. Got to get the underhook. You can hear Shana Baszler. Shouting for Egging to throw the knees. Egging, who is nicknamed Snowflake because she is white and unique. <laughs> and she has tattoos, about seven snowflake tattoos over her body, as well as a beautiful Japanese cherry blossom. Egging doing a good job of taking advantage of her height here with that underhook. Keeping Van Buren off balance, getting her body up past her hips. Now Van Buren with the underhook again. XFC that has been a platform for a lot of very good female fighters, as we mentioned before. Felice Herring in the audience here tonight. Mariana Kayfitz, another one that immediately comes to mind. Have built quite the solid women's division over the years. Okay, stop, stop. Let's stop. And referee Gary Copeland decides they need to work a little more, though the knees were getting off their pack. Yes, they were. Egging doing a much better job in the clinch this time, this round. Is the jab from Stephanie Egging. Good front kick. Jab two from Egging. Bit of the crafty boxing work now from Egging. Straight right hand was a nice one from Egging. They clinch up again. Van Buren needs to hit the throw right when she locks up or get a takedown here. Get this fight back to the ground. And here Baser again calling for the knees and Egging responds, throws one to the belly button. That one to the lower right rib cage. Those will score on the inside for Egging. So too to the corking knee to the outside thigh, then one to the waist. Yeah, and Egging doing a great job. See her left arm. She's been controlling the right arm of Van Buren a lot in this round and then blocking her out with the forearm like she's doing now in the hand. What does Van Buren need to do, Pat? Well, she needs to lift her underhook, but more than anything, she needs to start attacking the leg. She's got her against the cage. Try and lock her hands here and get a takedown. There she's digging for it. See if she can lock her hands. Van Buren looking for a double leg takedown. We've seen her power in this fight already. Tremendously strong young woman. Triangle started. She, that's the one she was looking for the whole time the first round. She's waiting for that. There's a triangle from Egging. Still with 50 seconds to lock on the submission. Is this it? Elbows. The bull fighting. Trying to get away out of the triangle. Egging. Applying pressure. She looks like she has a little bit of gap now going to the arm bar off the triangle. Half a minute remains. Can Egging find the submission? Van Buren doing a good job surviving here. Egging hasn't been able to get that arm all the way across. Under 20 seconds remains. 
survival here for Van Buren. Egging working for the submission. Van Buren out of trouble. The bull survives. Tough little lady. And as we go to the towels at the end of the second round, it will most likely be one round apiece going into the third. Good round for Egging. Evens the score. And look back here at the action in the second round, this takedown pass. Van Buren doing a good job of getting the takedown, but you can see this is what Stephanie Egan has been setting up the whole time. She's got that wrist control, able to slide that up. Van Buren, though, able to escape the triangle and get off the side and land a couple shots before the end of the round, but not enough to win the round. Again, Egan, 10-9 most likely on the judges' scorecards. Third and final round, one round apiece. First round going to Van Buren, second to Egging, says Pat Militic. How many are scoring at Ravery watching live on Access TV, your home for mixed martial arts? Here we go in the third. High left round followed by a left cross from Van Buren. Egging backs her off of the right and again. Thanks. Good movement here from Van Buren, not allowing Egan to really tag her cleanly with these hands, Pat. Nice she left hand, the left of her own. Yeah. And she did a good job so far in the start of this round, throwing that high left leg. Good takedown. Nice level change. Beautiful takedown. Look at the pass here now. Is Van Buren and Egan puts her inside the full guard. Yeah, got to get past uh, at least one leg on Egan so you don't have to deal with that triangle threat anymore. But Van Buren was doing a good job landing that rear leg kick to Van Buren or to uh, Egan's rear arm. Trying to damage her forearm a little bit so she couldn't throw that right hand as well. Got to pay it to Nick Kalinkis for the odds. As I said, the opening line on this one had Van Buren out at plus 110 and Egan at minus 150. Closing odds, though, late money on Van Buren at minus 125, Egan at minus 115. And you can see why the late money was put on Van Buren. Yes. And she's in a great position now, half guard. She's much shorter, more compact. That's a great position for that a person of that stature to be in. And working her way to the mound here, Egan could be in trouble. Looking to get the full mound here is the bull. Brianna Van Buren, and she gets it. Egan throws the legs up. Trying to get her feet in the armpits of Van Buren to come out the back door, which she is starting to do. Snaking out of there. Looks like she's going for the arm bar. Oh, arm bar attempt, it. Van Buren. Is Egging in trouble now? Omoplata here. Nope, she's still trying to get the arm bar, trying to pass that leg in front. Couldn't get it, though. And those long arms now of Egging could be very dangerous from the guard. So Able Van Buren here in the third with the arm bar attempt and the shoulder lock attempt. Got her ahead so far in this round, Pat. Yeah, I think Van Buren's still winning the round. Nice job coming up to a single. Got to get her hips out. Post her left hand and come up. Well, rolling through, coming out the back door maybe. What's Egging looking for from here, Pat? Egging's just trying to basically balance on a Swiss ball because uh, Van Buren's either going to go between the legs or come out to the side to her right side and come up with a single leg. She's trying to figure out what to do. And there she is. She's got the single leg and almost had it. Nice little trip. Egging takes the back here of Van Buren. Two minutes remains. A seesawing battle here in the final round. Egging got what's called an Oklahoma ride. See how she's hooking underneath the shin bone with one and got the leg in on the other. Very awkward for the person on the bottom. It's designed to flatten you out. Got to shake her off. Ooh, almost landed dangerously on the top of her head there, Van Buren. Should have just stayed up there, tripoded, and shook her off the top instead of going back down. Starting to hit a pry. The tide has turned in Egging's favor after a very solid start to the round from Van Buren, where she had two submission attempts. Should have just based out on top from that mount position and hung out there and landed punches. Use that clock. Let her roll through and go for the submission. 
We're into the final minutes of the fight. Baszler shouting for Egging to get the finish with under a minute remaining. Can she sink a choke here? Stephanie Egging. A purple belt in BJJ. Those long legs are a blessing right now. Able to hang out really well and use them. Looking possibly for an arm bar turning her sideways. I don't know. Van Buren surviving. 20 seconds now on the clock. And looks like it'll be Egging's final round, which will sort the fight in her favor. A little bit of ground and power from off the back here of the Bull Van Buren. Nowhere to go for the 19-year-old. Locked in by Stephanie Egging. And there it is. Tremendous contest. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge one, George Brockmole scores his fight 30 to 27. Judge Evans scores the fight 29-28. And Judge Argenbright scores his fight 29-28. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Stephanie Snowflake Eggie. Stephanie Egging takes her record to three and one.